Hello everyone. I believe everyone that I am talking about talking to you uh, has actually got Pabli Connect at their end. Uh, when I started Pabli Connect, one of the major goal that I had in mind was to make sure that most of you can actually use Pabli Connect to automate stuffs in their business. I wanted uh, the thing to happen, and I really wanted. In fact, I did a poll recently where I mentioned that I want. more than 80 to 90% of the people who are getting this software to integrate and automate some of their stuffs in their business and i'm creating this video for all those people who are very new to the automation industry they do not know how to automate stuff and they still want to do some kind of automation in their business consider this video as your first step to automate things up and consider this video as a first step to make possible any kind of automation in your business okay so this video will be dedicated on all the fundamentals out there you will learn what is triggers you will learn what is actions you will learn what kind of things you can basically automate with the help of pabli connect and you will learn what really automation is and how it is how it actually works okay i will be taking this video with the help of pabli connect as you know the tagline is integrate all your applications so i will be taking you further inside how you can integrate lots of things with the help of pabli connect in the next steps so what is pabli connect and why you should use it so as many of the people say that individual apps are good but connected apps are even better let's imagine you are selling something and you are selling them through a one of the platforms it can be any platform imagine you are selling something through paypal or maybe you are selling something through stripe or maybe you are using some card software like woocommerce shopify or think about any card platform out there now we really want to do some kind of things some kind of interesting things when something happens for example if your customer buys something from you through stripe you really want to give them a product access you want to deliver a file to that person you want to send a custom email to that person because he made a purchase from you now all those things are possible because there are on one hand there is a software through which you are selling something on the other hand there is a software which can deliver something now pabli connect comes right in middle what it does is when something happens it does something you understand what is automation automation is all about when something happens you do something for example a sale happen send an email if a sale happen send a file if a sale happen sms this person okay send him a sms message call him do something when something happens so automation softwares work on a very simple concepts of triggers and actions when something happens inside one software do this through some other software and pabli connect or the automation software comes right in middle where they get data from somewhere and based on that data they process that data internally and then they send the data to some other application to do some other stuff okay so individual apps are good but connected apps are even better next how pabli connect works it works on the basis of triggers which means if something happens actions do this now there can be tons and hundreds of triggers and there can be tons and hundreds of actions in different possible applications and pabli connect can basically connect and bind all those applications together because it can do stuff in so many different platforms that you can you that you can't even imagine let me give you an example i was recently i was i actually went to purchase something in a local grocery store as soon as i completed the payment i was doing the payment through a card as soon as i completed that payment there was a speaker right on top of that uh, grocery store it started to blare out it started saying thank you for your payment of 500 rupees now because i am in india we use uh, rupee here so it suddenly said that thank you for purchasing uh, this product for 500 rupees now you can imagine on one hand i am purchasing something and the transaction is happening in one software or the one application but on the other hand a speaker is blaring up that thank you for your purchase now how do how does that speaker get to know that the purchase has been made in this specific context and that is where the pabli connect like softwares comes in 
where they get data from one end and then they transfer that data to other software telling them, hey, you need to do this, right? And you need to do something. Now, I will give you some examples of triggers and I will also give you examples of some actions because this is a fundamental video uh, on automation. You will really learn what is triggers, what is actions and how you can use them in your business. So there are multiple examples of triggers. A few of the examples are mentioned here. I actually added four examples right here. The very first example is when a customer purchases something from Stripe. Now, I, although I mention Stripe right here, but imagine it can be just about any cart software out here. So when someone purchases something from you, that is actually an event that is happening. Now, when an event happens, you can tell that it's a trigger because if someone purchases something from you through one software, it is a trigger event and you want to do something after that. So the trigger event is something that happens and based on that happening, you want to do something, right? So the happening part is triggers because it's an event that happens. It's a trigger part and the action part is something which you really want to do after that event has taken place. Okay, so triggers and actions, triggers and actions. The next thing is when a form submission happens on Pabli form builder or imagine it can be just about any form builder. It can be Google form, it can be Wufoo, it can be Jot form, it can be Pabli form builder whenever someone submits a form. Because whenever someone submits a form, again, it is an event that happens because a form submission has just taken place and you can take this step. Uh, you can take any action step that you want. Once the form is submitted, you can send an email to that person. Once the form is submitted, you can add that and register that person inside a webinar. So again, this is a trigger step when the form is submitted. The next is when a new payment comes on Thrivecart. Again, if you're not selling something through Stripe or PayPal, you can still use some card platform, which happens to be a middleman even before Stripe and PayPal. So if you are selling something to a cart platform like WooCommerce, Shopify or Thrivecart, you can again get an event of purchase and based on that event, you can do lots and lots of things. When a new person books an appointment, again, if you have a booking software, if you ask people to book an appointment with you, you might be using softwares like Calendly, you might be using some other booking software. But uh, again, a trigger event is when someone books an event or a appointment with you. Based on that appointment, you can again register a call with someone. You can book a call in a different software. You can do X number of actions. But again, when something happens is trigger. So always remember trigger is something when something happens in some software. Action is something that you really want to do after something happens. Okay. So I, I hope you understood what triggers is. The next step is, uh, and in fact, I'll just go back once. The next step is all about actions. So I, I still have few examples of actions mentioned right here. Now we remember, if you remember, I just talked about triggers, which means if something happens, action is all about when something happens, what do you want to do? For example, some people want to add some person inside an email list inside MailChimp. Now, even though I mentioned MailChimp here, just imagine it can be just about any email marketing or email marketing automation tool, right? So when someone buys something from you, you might have to send some sequence of emails to that customer. Now that sequence of emails can be built inside a different application altogether. It can be active campaign. It can be MailChimp. It can be constant contact. It can be even public email marketing tool, right? So you can actually build who your whole email marketing sequence inside your email marketing tool. And that is something that you want to deliver once someone buys something from, from you. So we already talked about triggers. This is the action step that you want to take after someone buys from you. So the first action step can be add a person to the email list inside your email marketing software when someone's buy from you. Again, this is the action step. Add the person inside a CRM. Now, because he bought something from you, you might want to add that same person to a CRM tool. Or maybe if someone filled out the form, you want to add that person inside a CRM. So again, this adding a person inside a CRM is an action step because this is an action step that you took after something happened inside the trigger step. 
Next is send file through Google Drive. Now this is something that we actually use a lot. We sell online notes and courses and because we sell online courses and notes, what we really do is we have all our courses bundled in a PDF inside our Google Drive and when someone buys something from us, we instantly share that file through our Google Drive to that particular email. Okay, so again, sending file through Google Drive is something which is an action step. It happens and you can basically do lots and lots of different kind of actions as well. Another action is send email through Gmail. So you can in fact send email through Gmail. You can send email through any SMTP service provider out there, maybe Amazon SES, uh, SendGrid, Mailgun or just think about any email marketing service out there. So again, sending an email is an action step that you do after some things happen inside some other software. Again, send SMS message. You might want to send some confirmation of purchase. You might want to send some confirmation when someone fills out that form. That confirmation can be sent through an SMS message through services like Twilio or there are hundreds of other SMS sending services. Again, this is an action step. Last, add a new task on Trello. There are hundreds of project management, task management softwares out there. If something happens, you can still add that task inside your project management tool, inside your task management tool, and that is again an action step that you can perform. So I think I cleared what is actions and what is triggers. In the next video, I will tell you what kind of conditional things, in fact, not in the next video, in the next slide, I will tell you what are the different kind of conditional things that you can do. And this is all about, it's an advanced concept. The advanced concept, concept is all about conditional actions. Now only do something if a condition satisfies. Now this is again, we want to do something, but we want to do something only when a condition satisfied, satisfies. And that is what conditional actions is all about. So let me give you an example. When a sales happen inside Stripe, do a conditional check. Now that conditional check is, if the sales amount is greater than 1000, add to MailChimp list premium customers. If the sales amount is less than $1,000, add to MailChimp list normal customers. So you might have understood that uh, in this specific case, when the sales happens inside a Stripe, now this is a trigger step, okay? I will just write it down. This is a trigger, right? And this is an action step. In fact, this is a conditional check. This is an action step, add a customer to a MailChimp list, right? But we actually don't want to do a simple uh, integration. We do not want to do a simple integration between trigger and action, but we actually want to have a condition check in between where we want to say that if the purchase amount is greater than 1000, then add the person to the MailChimp list, but add him to the premium customers list. And if the amount is less than 1000, add the same person to MailChimp list, but add them to a normal customers list. Again, it seems like an advanced concept, but software like uh, Pabli Connect really makes it very easy to set up these conditions. Okay, so don't even worry about, don't even bother about how these things will happen because we actually make it very, very simple for you to do those kind of things. This video is more about an introduction of automations. You must learn what is triggers and what is actions in this video. If you understand what is triggers and what is actions, pretty much you can do any kind of automations inside the Pabli Connect software. And that is why I created this video. I just wanted you to understand what is uh, triggers and what is actions. Once you understand those kind of concepts, uh, see software part is something that can always happen. I will tell you how to use the software. But if you understand the introduction and the core fundamental of the software, you can pretty much do anything that you want. Okay, so I believe you must have understood what is trigger, what is action and what is the conditional check. The conditional check is that if the amount is greater than 1000, add the person to the MailChimp list, but add him to the premium customer list. Again, if the sales amount is less than 1000, add him to the MailChimp list, but add him to the normal customers list. I believe you must have understood what is the conditional check now. This is the UI of Pabli Connect. It is a one platform to automate all your integrations. I believe this will be very, very beneficial to you if you haven't got Pabli Connect already. I believe most of the people have already taken it, but just in case if you haven't, you can still take it, right? So thank you for watching this video. I believe a fundamental concept about triggers and action must be very clear to you. Just in case if you need any help, you can always reach us to our team 
at admin at pabli.com. Thank you for watching this video.